Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be testing Orca Slices Thick Bridges option and why to avoid for long bridges. Let's start. At the time of recording this video, I am using Orca Slicer 1.8.1. Once you open Orca Slicer, load one of the test bridge model. In my case, I will load this model bridge test. After that, under quality, advanced setting you have to go and look for thick bridges, thick internal bridges. Or else you can click on the search button here and type thick, thick bridges. This will directly take you to that particular option. So here I keep thick bridges and thick internal bridges disabled. Bridge density, I leave it to 100% and bridge flow and internal bridge flow I reduce that to the acceptable value. So first we will discuss uh, what is bridge flow and internal bridge flow. Bridge flow and internal bridge flow are same settings that you get for the filament flow ratio the same one except this is applicable at the time of bridging the bridging layer it is applicable at that time so this value will be applicable only while laying this particular layer the bridging layer so bridge flow is the outer two lines these two lines and these two lines is for bridge flow internal bridge flow is for the internal bridge lines bridge density is how thick you want your bridge to be uh, there should not be gap between the lines the line should be touching to each other which helps in creating a proper bridge otherwise if you leave a gap so if you set this to 80 there is a gap in between so if this gap is there bridging doesn't come as a good quality so I always set this to 100 by doing this it actually helps in improving the bridges so the previous laid line and the next line should touch to each other if there is a gap then these individual lines will start to droop in between so this this will start to sag to avoid that I keep always this as 100%. Next we will discuss on thick bridges and thick internal bridges. Thick bridges again it is for the external two lines, these two lines and these two lines. Thick internal bridges is for the internal lines, this light, light blue. If you enable this, these two options, the lines what you laid lay will be will be thicker than the normal lines it will be uh, much bigger than the size of your nozzle or the flow rate so by doing this these lines will be heavier and it will st it will start to sag in between so it will be like this to avoid that make sure to uncheck both this option this works if you enable this this works okay if the bridging is a short distance a distance like this a long distance it sags in between so I make sure that I uncheck this when I have long bridges next we'll discuss uh, about speed click on speed and come down to overhang speed over here overhang speed for the speed for bridging we have external and internal external is for the outer two lines these two lines and these two lines internal speed is applicable for the internal lines these light blue lines between between the external two lines as a general rule it is always recommended to go slow while bridging because the slower you go it gets more time to cool as the filament is laid but 
what I found is setting a value between 10 to 60. I see no difference uh, between these between these speeds. So I always set it to 60. So slower you go, it helps to cool down the filament, which helps to to bridge the bridge the gaps between between the two sides. Now that we have discussed about speed and quality. So under quality advanced bridge, we have discussed what is bridge flow, internal bridge flow, bridge density, thick bridges and internal thick bridges. Vol value what I set for bridge flow is 0.8 and internal bridge flow I set it as 0.94. These values are I found that are good enough to get proper bridge quality. Next I will show you the difference between enabling thick bridges and not enabling this. That is if you check mark what is the quality you get and if you uncheck uncheck this what is the quality so here you can see i have two images side by side top and bottom the top one is where when you enable thick bridges and thick internal bridges this is the result and this is when you have disabled or kept it kept it unchecked so it's very much clear that enabling thick bridges for a longer distance between point A to point B if the distance is long enough thick bridges creates problem and must be disabled. If it is a short distance yes it is uh, good enough. As you can see in these two images top and bottom the speed for the top one is set to 10 and the bottom is set to 60 and the thickness for both is 1. I don't see any difference in bridging, they both look similar. Thank you for watching my video. Do let me know in the comments on your thoughts on how this video is. If you like such more videos, also let me know in the comments and enjoy the remaining video by watching this bridging test.